What's up guys, Haven here. Uh, I'm going to do a little different video today. Uh, so in a couple days, or maybe by the time you're watching this, we are going to be entering in the 2023 summer event for uh, this year's this year's event. There's going to be several uh, vehicles up for grabs, and you need to get 40,000 points in two days to progress to the next uh whatever they're called coin token whatever so i thought what i would do is do a quick rundown of rank by rank in my opinion the top plane per rank now i'm mostly going to focus on the ones like three and up because those are the ones that are actually going to account for the event but i'll touch on ranks one and two real quick for the u.s line just uh, my personal preferences um so yeah, I'm going to pick the top plane, in my opinion, that you can earn the most points with uh, and in have the most fun with. And what I believe is in the current meta uh, for each rank in the U.S. aviation tree. So here we go. Before we do that, guys, please go ahead, like, subscribe. Um, Join the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be keep making these videos. Uh, let me give give me my feedback. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. I'm really trying to grow the channel this year, and uh, uh, you guys tell me what kind of content you want to see me create. Um, and uh, if we like this one, maybe we'll do the other lines as well. Okay. Uh, I play a lot of Air RB. I generally play Air RB during the day uh, on a separate, you know, machine, and then I play Ground RB at night, where I have the best graphics and the best setup and things like that. But uh, basically, what all I'm saying is I play a lot of uh, War Thunder. I see kind of what's in the current meta. I play ranks mostly two through seven, but I don't play a lot of rank one. But I think rank one for the U.S. is pretty pretty simple enough. So let's jump into it. Um, Obviously, there's Galers. This is just a fantastic turn. I think I got it for the uh, tutorial or whatever. It's maybe your first premium you'll ever get. I think if I were to pick any of the planes out of Tier 1 that I had to choose to play, I don't like the P-26 P-shooters because they, in fact, do feel like a P-shooter. I can't secure the kills with a 7.62 millimeter machine gun, only two of them. The P-36s are actually fantastic with the 50 cals. I would not uh, hesitate to play any of the P-36 line. Um, but if you have the Galers, um, it's got some 50 cals and it's just super maneuverable. It's premium. My pick for Tier 1, lock it in for scoring points in the 2023 summer event is Galers F3F. If you don't have it and you don't want to buy it, then my second pick is the p 36g i think br for br it's a pretty strong plane uh, very maneuverable great for having fun and earning points in uh, tier one the problem with that of course is that for the 2023 summer event you can't earn points in rank one so you would have to use some event vehicles you would have to use this or something else that i think i got this in the 10 year anniversary either way moving on okay Rank 2, still not counting for the event. We're still going to have to be looking for some sort of event vehicle. So if you have the P-40 Warhawk, I would play that. I would play the P-43. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have these, obviously, but, you know, the, the ones I have are the premiums that you can buy. But still, if you're watching this outside of the 2023 summer event and you just want to know my opinion on the best Rank 2 planes in the U.S. Uh, aviation line. This is where it becomes, in my opinion, really difficult, actually, because I have a lot of favorites in the, in the rank two area. So the Key 43 Premium, if you can get it, it, it honestly, I, I'm not so much of a fan. I feel like it over-rotates too much. It's not, not going to be my first pick, which might be a surprise. The Key 61, uh, I've... I think key 60 ones are absolutely fantastic. I enjoy this premium. I do feel like it's a little over, over BR um, at 3.7, but it you can have a lot of fun with it. The 50 cals do a pretty decent amount of damage, and it's uh, obviously a key 61. You're going to have trouble climbing in it, but hey, that fits makes you fit right in with the rest of the U.S. team. As we sort of move over, uh, you can play some bombers, get some bombing runs in. I'm not going to cover those too much because I think this bomber plays the same as like this bomber so and there's not much to cover here 
I do like the, the B-34 because it can, it's a little bit more maneuverable. Same thing to be said with the B-25s. You're going to see a lot of those, but they're not my favorite. It's I'm not a big fan of bomber gameplay. That sort of goes along with the Havoc, the A-20G Havoc. It's just, again, not my preferred play style, but I do know in the current meta that the A-20s are, are pretty decent. They, they are somewhat maneuverable. If you want to spade it and grab it for ground RB, that's fine. That's good. Uh, the A-36... Um, might win out here it's going to certainly be a contender in rank two uh, i just did a video on it if you haven't gone and seen it go do the the a36 uh just a really low rank uh p51 basically but it gets the attack respawn you can take the gun pods and just be a laser machine you don't get to have that much fun until you get down to the uh, f82 again so this is like a low rank uh f82 so in terms of having fun uh, man, it's hard to beat at Tier 2 with the uh, A36 for sure. I got to talk about my Corsairs. Corsairs, fantastic fun. The 271 feels like the engine's not quite there yet, um, and that will hamper your performance in that. I usually take the 301 because of that, because I just want the extra engine power. I feel like it really comes on to its own with the F4UD 1D. So the F4U 1A, not my favorite. I'll play it. Um, but it is a Corsair. It's still a lot of fun. The F4Fs, they're okay. They're a bit, you know, I don't really know. They don't climb. Their armament's okay. But if you're playing at these BRs, I mean, and you know what you're doing, you should do be reasonably successful in the F4F. But it's not because the plane is particularly cracked or anything like that. And then you move into the F40s, or excuse me, the P40s. Um, the choice here is obviously the P40F, just because it's even though it's the same BR, it is a slightly better plane. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my my choice out of the P40 line. If you're going to pick one, in fact, I think I got a talisman on this somehow at random. Um, but yeah, if I'm taking out a P40, if that's your play style, this is the one I take out at rank two. Um, the P-51 Cannon Stang, um, again, it's kind of kind of like the A-36. It's just a lot of fun. It's a it's a low altitude P-51 Mustang with the Hispanos. Now with the real shatter changes, those hit hard again. So, good option here for sure. Coming over here to this line, the P-400 is just like a I think it's a super early P-39 and early P-63. Not a fan of it. Just feels really underpowered. Um, and that kind of goes along with the P-39s. I think these are strong vehicles. They're just... The the 37mm cannon is fantastic when it hits, but you got 30 shots and the air... Like, it's just... I'm not... I, for whatever reason, I don't jive with it. It's not going to be my choice. I do recognize that they are somewhat meta planes. I just... They're not for me. I'm not, I'm not going to pick them as my favorite. And then we're going to talk about the P-38s. So the P-38E and the P-38G, the difference basically being engine power between the two. The armament is essentially the same. And with the additional engine power, you get the additional climb rate, right? Basically, that's the biggest difference here. So uh, it gets the interceptor spawn. It now gets the 20 mil uh, cannon that now hits hard again in the new meta. You get 150 rounds of it. And then you have 450 cows to back it up. If I am going to have to pick, let's just, I'll give you my top three, my top, well, I'll give you my top four in rank three is going to be either the early Corsair, the A36, the P51, or the P38. Um, if I have to pick a U.S. early, early, you know, rank two plane, and for whatever reason, I guess it's the rank two daily challenges or whatever, I'm going to pick the A36. Um, why? Because it gets an air spawn. Why? Because it's a powerful P-51, right? I don't like the early P-51 so much because of the climb rate. Um, this one's actually not bad. I'll get into that. But the cannon staying, I play in the, the British Premium if I want to play that one. The P-38s, I almost, this is a really close second place, the P-38G, because it also gets the air spawn. It's just to shooting shooting with the p38 platform is harder so because of that reason because i want to start with an air spawn in rank two usually i'm gonna go with the uh, a36 it's just the most fun i think you can have in the u.s tech tree rank two for sure 
if you can pick a premium then the key 61 but i don't i mean that's that's sort of a niche plane if i'm just going to go out have fun tech tree right there a36 all right now we've moved on to rank three rank three now you are finally contributing towards points for the summer 2023 event right so now you can play any of these you get 40,000 points and you're golden right obviously i'm just going to say you can play a bomber okay yeah you, you could play a bomber that's just one way to mindlessly do it uh the btd is almost like a poor man's wyvern you can start with a bomber spawn and do a big dive bomb towards a base and drop you know two thousand you're not going to kill the base but again a poor man's wyvern uh but you're kind of a sitting duck afterwards xp 50 super strong premium option starts with an interceptor spawn uh, in terms of just pure clinical, you know, only analyzing it and not taking into account the amount of fun that you're going to have, the XP-50, super strong. Probably, if you were just grinding for points, XP-50 may be going to be your best option. It's going to be really hard to beat, so leave that as, as the top. I'm just, It's just not my favorite. I don't know why, but uh, moving on. 109 i've got a whole video on that i feel like if you're not paired with enough xp 50s it's very lonely on these uh rank 3 us teams so it's not my favorite for that reason if i want to play in a, a, a bf 109 f4 i'm going to play with some german teams that actually kind of knows how to fly it as well so and uh i guess that kind of goes for the a6 m2 it's just not my favorite i just like i i get it it's fine but I'm, zeros are not my jam. I kind of like things that have a bit more engine power. Sure, it can turn fast, but how much fun is smashing a, you know, S for elevator? So, uh, XFF5, XF5F, excuse me, XF5F, um, surprisingly, is a rank three. So, if you just want to seal club, I mean, you do you, boo. To me, that's not very sportsmanlike, but, you know, whatever. It's a 2.3 battle ranking uh, rating, playing for a reason. Um, it's just not my favorite again. Um, yeah, but it's here. It's an option if you want to if you want to go that route. It is, a, this is the lowest BR vehicle for rank 3, I think, across any of the other lines. Like, I think the only other one is the Air Cobra in the Russian 3.0 premium, right? There's the... Uh, that kind of covers the premiums. <clears throat> if you were just going to pick up a premium, probably X50, XP50 is your choice. If you're going to do a bomber, I don't really care. Any of the bombers will work. Let's talk about the Hell Diver for a second, however. The Hell Diver is the rank 3 version of the. It's like a, it's an inner. I guess I misspoke earlier. Like, if you're going to do just the laser beams, you can take the Hell Diver with the. Um, with the gun pods and burnt your way down from a bomber spawn and it turns pretty tight too so the only problem that you're going to run into with the hell diver is that you basically have zero climb rate look at the 3.6 meters a second climb rate so every time you give up any bit of altitude you give up in the hell diver just you're just not getting it back unless you just have 10 minutes to climb so because of that, it's a little bit nuanced play, but if you can maintain your height advantage and sort of laser beam 50 cal your way down from your bomber spawn, it can be a lot of fun. You can pick up a lot of kills. You can get a lot of points doing it. So don't uh, rule out the Hell Diver, especially the 3.7 version. I'm not sure this one gets the... Uh, yeah, see, this one doesn't get the gun pods, so you have to take the 3.7 one with the gun pods. You should do it at least once. It's a lot of fun taking the 50 cals and just burnt your way down you can do it in the french line too which is the one that i mainly did and um that's why this one's spaded and the other one's not or i guess they added a 2000 pound bomb but this is the one that i will take out every now and then. it's also 37 but if we're talking about the u.s tech tree uh, hell diver is a lot of fun keep that one on, keep that one on the table also, sort of in a similar vein, I'm going to throw the P61 out there, too. The problem with the P61, I think, is that it's 
it has a particular way to be played. If you're not good with it, you're going to just die easily because it's so big, it's such an easy target. So you really have to be sort of, I'm going to say an advanced player or know what it is that you're doing. You have to really stay fast in it. Um, but if you can do that, the P61 is strong. It's got a lot of frontal armament. And, uh, and then it's got the turret that essentially can shoot 360 over the top. Um, but it's kind of a niche fighter. I don't have super lot of success with it. I really did try to make it work, but it's not my favorite. If we skip over here to the King Cobras, the P63s, um, they are, again, very strong. This is probably the most cracked BR for BR plane in the game currently right now for Air RB, the P63A. Like, it's sitting at 3.3. Um, you can go watch, like, Jube or um, Seeker and watch them just, like, pop, I think, multiple boosters and just get, you know, this, this thing's cracked for the BR, um, which is crazy. And I can recognize it sort of like on paper and watch other people do really well with it. It's just not for me for some reason. And I don't know why I'm not that great with it. Um, so maybe for you, the P63A is your choice at this rank. It's not for me. Um, and this is my video. So we're going to move on. And that's, that goes the same thing for these. These are a little bit more balanced, um, but they're just, they're just not for me. They do great in a dive. I just like stall fighting a bit more. So I don't know if that's, maybe that's what it is, but... Uh, P63, very strong contender, not for me. Um, I'm probably going to have a large contingent of people telling me that for this event, that the P47 ground pound and you'll get the points and yada, yada, yada. I just don't believe you. I think that the P47 is a fantastic plane for ground RB, but for air RB, it is pain and you're going to pay for it. And like the 501, I've unlocked the 501 in the Chinese. It's, it's okay. It's competitive. Um, it's just sort of a limited way to play, but it is not my most consistent point earners in air RB. And if that's what we're trying to keep this to the summer, 2023 air RB points rank three, P47 is not going to be my top choice. It is a, it's, and some of you maybe can learn how to get the whole team to ignore you. But if you're down there ground pounding, you know, to me, you've got like a two minute lifespan before someone comes and says, Hey, points and kills you, right? Either that, or you're going to spend the whole match side climbing, uh, until you get to the 501, which can kind of climb pretty good, but not for me, not for the summer event. It's fantastic planes, though. I love them to death. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not going to pick it for my, my top pick here. Um, P-51C. Uh, this is now a plane that is in multiple tech trees, as multiple premiums. The Swedes now have one, and the French now have one, which is basically the 3.7 P-51C with the 50 cals. And this, in my opinion, until you get to the maybe the 5.0 Mustang, the D, or the 6.3 one for sure. This is the last good performing P51. I typically skip over the P51Ds completely. I just think they're over-tiered for the amount of maneuverability and engine power they have. They have a play style that does not in current meta. This one has a play style but is somewhat still meta so this is a really strong contender for this if you like p51s and you got to play a rank three version um yeah here, here's your p51 it's just not going to be one for me i can't do well enough consistently in it to score points to uh to pick this as my top one spoiler well let's just go to ff6f um hellcats are great for ground rb i've grounded out for the french tree um they're okay. If you look at their rate of climb, they play a little bit like a hell diver that doesn't get an air spawn, right? It's really kind of hard to get up there to really make them work. If you play the 3 3 one, usually, and you're a good enough player, usually you can make it work. When you get to the 4 3, you're going to have a harder time. It's just, you got to get some side climb altitude. You got to pick your choices. You need the energy advantage. It almost plays like a P47. It's just. A situational plane so I, for the summer event i would not say it is your most consistent point earner i did a whole video just recently on the f4u14 or excuse me the f4u4 
and how I think it could be a better choice than the F4U-1C, which is the Canon version with a slightly better engine than the F4U-1D. If I'm picking one plane out of rank three in the US tech tree, this is my choice, the F4U-1D. I have it in my ground RB lineup, and I, I just, this thing is fantastic all around. It's probably a, a little under br but I think it's pretty competitive. Um, for whatever reason, it's just it's just my jam, and I do okay in it. And you can use it in air RB or ground RB, and it's a whole lot of fun. If you want to play a slightly higher BR, you can choose the Canon version of it or the 50 cal version with the better performance and the better flight model. So. If you're going to make me pick between any of those, my choice, rank 3 US, F4U-1D is my choice. And it's great, you know, great secondary weapons. Each bomb drops separately, and they're both 1,000 pounders. That makes it fantastic for ground RB. So there you go. If you've never played it, grind it out uh, and use it for air RB and ground RB. It's rank 3 and 3 OBR, so you can be a little bit more relaxed. But, yeah. I'm going to be using this for summer 2023 for sure. All right, so I'm going to start skipping over planes because there's just so many in rank four. So I'm going to hit the highlights here. Bomber line, very consistent point earners, I think. If you This this used to be super expensive, so you didn't want to play it. Still is kind of expensive. Um, but sure, you can just, you know, aerial bomb from space. Uh... I don't, I don't even think most of these I haven't even bought. I, I just bomber bom, bomber gameplay, not my jam, but you could do it. And you would be doing a rank four plane doing it. In terms of premiums, not my favorite because it's the D gets pulled up into the JU-22 JU bomber spam, which can actually be kind of fun, but it, it's it's not fast enough to really chase them down. Although you could usually get one, and then you got to chase the rest of them. This is basically a gar, ground RB plane. It's not appropriate for air RB, in my opinion. Uh, same thing kind of goes with this. It gets pulled up into the JU-22 bomber spam, and it's more of a ground RB plane. Um, I don't have this one, but I do have the, the Falk Wolves on the other line. If you're a Falk Wolf guy, this is probably a good choice. It, you'll probably mostly get down tiers. Um, JU-2288 spam, not not going to pick that. Um, JU-288 spam, but it, it is actually because it is that trash BR range, you can do some ground pounding with this if that's what you want to do. Not my recommendation, but... Um, and it is, a, I think, a battle pass vehicle, so you might even have it. So let's look at the rest of the tech tree for rank four. Um, if you can learn the P38 play style, I think the, the 471 with the boosters is going to be my choice. My gunnery has gotten better with the P38s. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could do this. Uh, I think to mix it up and keep it fresh, the P38s have a particular play style they can be a lot of fun especially now with the real shatter changes being sort of reversed i might, I might probably have to take the p30 and play it the j is is okay it just doesn't have the booster so your roll rate is worse so i think since the since the four seven range is so popular you might as well just take the four seven plane because a lot of people stop at 4.7 BR because they know that even in a full up tier, they're not going to have to face the JU-288 spam. So 4.7 is super popular. And because of that, why, why, why take the 4.3 if you can just take the 4.7 and uh, fight the same matches? So good choice here. P-51's not my choice. I think the 501's okay, uh, but it's just not going to be what I pick. JU-288 spam, if you want to laser them down, this can be fun. Uh, I think what you get, like, what's the... I mean, I haven't even unlocked it, but you get it's ridiculous. If you go look on YouTube, you'll see all the laser beam. The 47N, not my jam for Air RB. The H, um, if you want to hunt the JU-288s, you can do that. But again, 6.3 is kind of a trash BR. Uh, this gets pulled up into that trash BR... Trash BR, trash BR, trash BR, and so, and trash BR, um, 
I will talk a little bit about the F7F. This is a great JU-288 hunter because um, it starts high enough and you can go down and just head them on and just annihilate them. Got a short video about that. It was a lot of fun. Um, I feel like this is actually more relevant now that it's been lowered in BR, but it's still in just that trash BR range. So for rank four US, I would say either the premium Falk Wolf but without it being premium, I'm gonna. Uh, this will be my third place. Second place is gonna be the P38L. First place is going to be the Bearcat um, without the gun pods. And I'm just gonna take my chances that I don't get a full up tier into that JU288 crap. And I'm just gonna play this, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, it is the highest BR that I'm willing to play. <laughs> Uh, and, and honestly, this thing just space climbs at the start of the match. It is an insane climb rate. It, the engine does overheat, um, but 50 cals will get the job done. And you can double up. You can use it for ground RB later. So this is my choice for uh, rank 4 US tech tree vehicle is the F8F-1. Go watch the video on it if you want more info on that. It's a lot of fun. Rank 5. Well, first off, if you rank 5, it's quite possible that you've been playing the game longer than me. And so this will no longer be something where you're like a new player and you're trying to learn. This is going to be now more about my opinion and what it is that I like to play as part of these Summer 2023 events. Um, I don't have the, uh, you know, the F-89s because, my God, that's so much GE for what... The B-57 is just like a bomber pinata. Why would I play the B-57? This is a ground RB jet. Haven't even spaded it. Haven't even... Sp I don't even think I've crewed this one. Just not my favorite planes to play. So we're really looking at over here in terms of the amount of the things I've spent any amount of time with. Um, this was my first jet. F-84B was my first jet back when... Uh, I think it was like 7.3 or something, but I played the heck out of this. It was so much fun just to go, you know, a thousand kilometers an hour, played the heck out of it. It's going to have a sweet spot for me. Um, I really need to get it out into ground RB. You can see it's set up for ground RB. I've got the secondary weapon selected for it. Good choice. I think 7.0, it starts with the inter, you know, interceptor spawn. Could be an option for, you know, sort of, dropping two two bombs on a on a base and then dog fighting if that's the if that's the sort of gameplay you're looking to do and and some guaranteed points for the summer 23 23 event i wouldn't i wouldn't hate that option because you're rank five at a low br with the interceptor spawn drop two two bombs and that's some guaranteed points that that might be a pretty valuable strategy um the f80s i have not spent enough time with them i respect the heck out of them i think they are going to be something that i look to play more often in the future um i'm just not a huge fan of the br so when i play these planes it's not so much for air rb anymore i'd rather skip to 87 which i think is more fun so i'm not in this area much which is probably why i haven't spaded the f80a i think it's got a more of a turn fighter play style which i would probably enjoy more and I haven't even crewed this, but I think this is just a better engine, better performance overall. Um, this is a good option. Um, but if I, and then let's talk about the F2H. Is, it's basically the Navy with the cannons. And with real shatter, it may be a more option now. Um, I ground through these to get to the F9F-8. So these are okay. They do feel a little underwhelming in terms of performance when you face migs so keep that in mind but your armament is better so that's these are an okay option especially if you're trying to grind through some part of the tree and then we get to you know your a saber um man i, I love the a saber um i just wish that the guns were more consistent in the jet combat where you just have like a mere quarter second on target the 50 cows really hurt so that's gonna probably keep me from picking the f86a so i think you know in conclusion rank five 
I'm going to have to go with the F-84B. It's kind of a crappy plane, I'm not going to be honest with you, but it's low enough BR, and it starts with the interceptor spawn, and you can drop the bombs. It's guaranteed points. So if you're gonna if you're gonna play this BR, I'd go second place is the saber, just because sabers are a lot of fun, especially the A saber. It's low BR enough to be kind of performant. So I would pick the the A saber, maybe the F saber, but it's still got the 50 cal's, and it's like, is that really worth the BR jump? Um, and so I, I would go with the F84B. That would be my pick. All right, let's go to rank six which in my opinion is the biggest I, I don't know why i like this br so much it is absolutely kind of a trash br but i love it like i can't not play it it's so much fun like there are planes in this br that absolutely do not deserve to be in this br range that are in it and it's kind of like i don't know it's just I, I can't it's so much fun so let's talk about it so one F4 D previous event, last year's event vehicle, no longer ring wing rips, which I can't say three times fast. Wing rips. No longer wing rips. You can pull really pretty hard on it. If you have it, take it out, fly it, uh, you'll be surprised. So you can play that. Um, your squad vehicle, not gonna hate you for that. Your premium harrier, which hopefully you picked up as a sale, strong, your A ten. Hopefully you picked it up at a sale. Uh, you got your your AIM 9Ls right, which is basically what this is a is an AIM 9L launch platform. This is an AIM 9G launch platform. This is an AIM 9L launch platform, and this one that can actually dogfight a little bit. And it's got AIM 9Es, which are the crappiest of the three. If you have the premium, any of these three options would be fantastic. Um, uh, if you have the premium, this is the winner. I'm just going to, let's cut to the chase. So if you have this one and you, if you have that one, but I'm going to still make my top pick out of the tech tree because not everyone has this and not everyone wants to spend the money, but you're going to see so many of these during the event because it is BR for BR, a super strong vehicle. I'll be playing this quite a bit. Getting back to the tech tree vehicles. Um, I have not played Skyhawks in the American line. I've played the Israeli version. If you want to pick the squad vehicle or this one, I think pretty strong. There's a particular play, play style for the Skyhawks. Some people get really good at them because they play the squad vehicle a lot. I don't hate you for it. I think it's a good platform. I, I, I personally love how they look. Obviously, they were in Top Gun. And I have a real sweet spot for them because of that. So take that out. Going to be fun. Going to be competitive. You'll be competitive with it. Um, you can make the Fury work. I've seen people do it. It's okay. The F, the AV-8C is the non-premium version of it where you have to grind out the AIM-9Gs. You don't get just get the AIM-9Gs. If you like the Harrier playstyle, which, by the way, this is just like Space Climb, and then dive down and fire your AIM 9Gs on some bombers. That's what you do. It's like almost two guaranteed kills. And you have uh, countermeasures for days. You just can't turn. So that's your Harrier playstyle. So this could be a, this could be a contender if you're just kind of want simple gameplay where you take off really fast and drop down on bombers and fire two missiles and they're done. But that was more of when before they stretched the maps out. Now that the maps are bigger, you can't just take the attackers, you know, like the, you can't take the Harriers out super quick, get really high and be the first one to the battlefield. You'll have other planes catching you by then. So I would say no longer is that the guaranteed two kills. Um, so maybe, maybe not. It maybe would have been my last year's choice, not my this year's choice. The Cougar, uh, lowest BR tech tree vehicle that can take four AIM-9Bs. It is the equivalent of like the G91R4. That's a tech tree vehicle. I threw a talisman on it because I just had a lot of fun with it. It's a little underpowered, just like the F2H and the F9H before it. It's got the strongest engine out of the rest of it, but now you're carrying you know, four missiles under it. So it's a little hard to get altitude in, but assuming you can establish that altitude and you can kind of use, you know, but, but they are just aim nine bees too. So it's like, you're kind of giving up performance for aim nine bees, 
but then uh, that's weighed against the cannons now which actually work again so I need to take the cougar out again but it's gonna be a solid choice for sure just just because just because of the BR that it's setting at 8.3 you're gonna see a lot of up tiers don't get me wrong but if you get the occasional down tier you will have four missiles and a down tier with also cannons so could be could be pretty strong if we move over, if we just continue to go down this line, the Demon, the F3H-2 Demon, I think I spent a good amount of time with it because I wanted to try out the Sparrows. It's the first one time I use the Sparrows. The problem with it is that if you want to use the Sparrows, you got to climb and you don't have countermeasures. So there's that going for it. Also, the radar really lets it down. So not going to be my first choice. Fun to play with, but nowhere near the top. The Crusader 2, the F8U-2, I just rip my wings off with it all the time. If you're one of those people that doesn't rip their wings off with it, maybe this is your choice. I rip my wings off with it all the time, so it's not my choice. The F4C Phantom is just freaking pain. It has no flares. It's not fast enough. It is a bomb truck. So if you're looking to grind out points for the summer 2023, I'm going to put this in the top three but it's just not very engaging it's like you basically you're gonna take the bombs and you're gonna probably drop every other you know armament and you're gonna take min fuel there's i think i even saw a youtube like video on this guy he took like the minimum fuel he bombed two bases he rtb'd he contributed nothing to his team if that's you if that's what you want to do f4 sees you i just i hate that type of gameplay it's not for me speaking of that type of gameplay I, particularly during these events, like to play the counter to that gameplay, a.k.a. some of the 104 Starfighters can beat these guys, not obviously they're in the same tech tree, but can beat some of those like zombie bomber point grinders to the base and can actually kind of shoot them down before they bomb. So keep a Starfighter in mind for that uh, as sort of a... If they're going to grind points with a bomber, you can be the guy that grinds points killing the bombers, right? So F, the Starfighters, is is that platform. The other reason to play the, the Starfighters is because at 9.3, you are untouchable. You can just leave everybody in the dust. It's fantastic. I mean, I don't think anyone who's reached rank 6 this is no secret you see them all the time they're annoying to deal with i will tell you as a flying the starfighter it is very difficult to get guns on without slowing down and if you slow down then you're killable so it's kind of a it's kind of a compromise do you want the speed or do you want the ability to kill or you're gonna have to be really good with the guns now the guns there are like 750 rounds of the guns so and now with real shatter fixed, it's a it's a pretty strong pick. So, but I think we're gonna go fourth. You know, number one if you want to buy premium. Four, three. These are the, basically the same thing. Three. Um, my number two pick is going to be the Super Saber. I just did a video on it with the four AIM nine E's. It's a good choice, but my choice is probably the F Saber. Um, these are really close, if I'm being totally honest with you. Honestly, these three are really close. I'm going to play probably all three of them. But I think in terms of just sheer, I'm fully playing this, this game right now. It's going to be the F-82F with the uh, cannons. Because it's, it's the Saber that I play style with the ability to get kills with the cannons. <laughs> that's kind of That's kind of how I think of it, right? And so... The F Saber is kind of a sweet spot for BR, kind of a sweet spot for, for, for performance, and the sweet spot for armament. So that, in my opinion, makes it the best Saber. And that's going to be my pick for Rank 6 Tech Tree. Um, I think in the interest of time, I'm probably not going to go into detail. Obviously, I haven't even ground out all these. Um, so I'm just going to comment on what it is that I have played um if you have the phantom pack i mean you probably played more hours on that already i see them all the time that's an option the 
A10 late, I think, is over br I think T10s maybe, but whatever. I don't feel bad for you being at 10.3 because it's, again, an A9L launcher. But now that you've been moved up, it's not as strong, which is totally fine by me because I hate facing these in planes that don't have flares. So no sympathy for you here. Uh, this is not going to be my pick. Um, this is not going to be my pick. Uh, mainly because I haven't grounded out, and if I'm going to play an 11 3, I'm going to just play 11 7. So the picks, uh, the F4E Phantom, again, is 11 0 is a horrible BR uh, because you're going to just play continual 12 0 games, and because of that, the F4E is not my pick. It suffers the same way that the F4C suffers. So, not my pick. Not my pick. Haven't even gotten them, but I'm, I mean, the reason why I haven't ground them out is because they're just not that fantastic, from my understanding. I mean, you have to take my word on it. Um, so that really leaves, in terms of the current meta, the F5E or the F8E. Um, the F5E is the current meta plane in the BR range. You see them all the time. They're very strong. People are using them to grind the F-16A. So if you were to pick solely on performance and something in this rank that you could do well with, again, because we're limiting ourselves to this rank, um, F-5E is probably everybody else's choice, but my choice is the F-8E. And I'll tell you why. It's mainly because I like playing with the radar missile. <laughs> That's it. I just like playing with the radar missiles. So the F-8E is my choice in terms of just clinically analysis. The F-5E is probably better. But, uh, you, you know, I'm going to be playing. So F-8E is my choice. Rank 8. I only have the F-14 and I just only recently unlocked it. So I'm going to pick the F-14A. <laughs> um that's my choice for now. I, I, it's a completely unqualified opinion, but I'm going to be grinding this out as part of the event. Um, I'm going to have to really change my control setup to learn, you know, to really set up how the radar works. But I'm only going to touch on this briefly. I don't think if you're watching this video, you you know, if you're already unlocked all this, you can, you can give your opinions down in the comments below. But... I'm going to be taking out the F-14A here shortly and uh, really just hopefully spading it out is going to be the plan. And while I do that, I hope to unlock the F-16 so I can play in top tier. Top tier has a different feel to it. It is not so far. It is not my favorite. I think I am mostly going to live in the rank 6 area because it's got a variety of planes with a variety of play styles. Some have radar missiles, some don't, some have flares, some don't, some go really fast, some don't. There's a lot of like rock, paper, scissors happening at this rank, and that's why I kind of like playing rank six if I'm going to play jets. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you'll probably see me mostly in probably killing bombers in the Starfighter or F5C. Um, or, or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play a bunch in rank six. So, those are my recommendations per rank for the summer 2023 event, uh, because basically that is the current meta. Real Shatter has just recently been reversed. Uh, this game changes all the time. I really want to look forward, you know, watch this video again next year and see how the meta has shifted again. Hopefully we have a lot more planes down in this area. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please do all the like, subscribe share do all that stuff um and you get to end uh looking at the corsair i've got here but uh leave in the comments let me know if you want me to do a different tech tree i've got pretty much most of germany and most of russia and i have all but the the tornado of, of the of the british so those could be other future videos if you want to see it i've also got um most all of i'm now doing rank eight of, of france so so let me know in the comments if you want me to cover a different uh different tech tree but uh that's it for the us one good luck out there get those 40,000 points or pay the ge i don't care man i'm gonna have fun mix it up don't burn out guys see you later